Hello people, welcome back. The question is from gate 2005 exam. It's for two marks. They have given you this diagram. You can see we are using two D flip flops and their output is ended. So the final output of this circuit is that. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's first read the entire statement. Which of the following input sequence will always generate a one at output Z at the end of third cycle? Okay. You can see all the four options are noted down here. We are going to analyze them one by one. Let us analyze option A. They are saying values of A, B, C are 0, 0, 0 before giving the first clock. So we set 0, 0, 0 at A, B and C. Then first clock is given. Similarly, we set this input and second clock is given. Then we set this input and third clock is given. They are saying for which of these four options will the value of z be equal to 1 after giving the third clock cycle. Okay, so let us analyze option A. This is 0, this is 0, this is also 0 before giving the first clock. Now whenever we give a clock, these flip-flops will react. What will this input D be? 0 or 0 is 0. What will this input be? Input D will also be 0 for this flip-flop because if at least one of the inputs of AND gate is 0, the output is going to be 0. We need not worry what this input is. Okay. Now whenever first clock cycle is given, you can see this 0 will be transferred here and this 0 will be transferred here because this is a property of D flip flop. So both of the outputs Q and Q, they are 0, 0. That means this AND gate will also output 0. So at the end of first clock cycle, Z is 0, okay. Just keep in mind, this is 0 and Q bar will be 1 because complement of 0 is 1. These values will remain as it is until the next clock is given, okay. Because flip flops react only when a clock is given. Now what we'll do, we'll change the input. Input will become 1, 0, 1. So this is 1. B is 0, C is 1, okay. So output of OR gate will become 1. This output will also be 1 because 1 and 1 is 1. So output of this AND gate is 1. That means the input of both of the flip flops is 1. Whenever a clock cycle is given, this one will be shifted here. This one will also be shifted here. Okay. You can see the output Z in this case is 1. 1 and 1 is 1. That means after giving the second clock, output becomes 1. Now you notice, if output Q is 1, Q bar will be 0. Okay. If Q bar is 0, C this 0 will be given as an input to this AND gate. If this AND gate is 0, we need not even check what the third input is. Okay, We need not worry about the third input. I can simply declare that at the end of third clock cycle, Z will be 0. How can I do that? Because this value is 0. Whatever is the input, Okay, we don't, we don't care what, what the input is. This AND gate is going to output 0, okay, because one of its input is 0. Now whenever third clock cycle is given, irrespective of values of A, B and C, this 0 is going to be transferred here, okay. Even if C is 1, this AND gate is going to output 0 only, because this is 0. If this 0 is transferred here, this AND gate will also output 0 only, okay. So the value of Z will be 0 at the end of third clock cycle. We haven't even seen what the input is. So we can neglect the third input if output, output Q, this Q, if this Q is 1, we can simply reject that option, okay. That means after second clock, you can see after the second clock, flip flop one, this flip flop must not output one. If this output is one, this output is going to be zero. 
and this zero is going to remain as it is until the third clock cycle okay if this is zero that means this one will be zero when third clock cycle is given this zero will be transferred here hence making the final output also zero so let us see which of these three inputs will just give a zero at flip flop one at ending of the second clock cycle see if we want a output zero i'm raising all these numbers see if we want a output is equal to zero after giving the second clock cycle let's analyze what must be the second input we want zero here after giving second clock cycle that means before giving second clock cycle this must be zero okay only in that case this zero will be transferred here upon giving a clock this will be zero means both of a and b have to be zero because only when a is equal to zero and b is equal to zero only in this case output of or gate will be zero let us see in which of the option the second input is a is equal to zero and b is equal to zero a is zero and b is zero is not followed here a is zero b is zero is not followed here also a is zero and b is zero is not followed here also so this option can be rejected this one this one and this one also okay there is some problem in these options none of them is correct okay let us see what can be the answer we don't care what the first input is okay let me just write here so the value of a b and c can be anything for the first input this must be zero and this must be zero in second input we don't care what c is for the second input okay now let us see what must be the third input suppose this is zero this is zero and this can be anything we don't care in this case when you give the second clock this zero will be transferred here and this one will be one okay so for the third input now we don't care what the uh, what will be the output on second clock also we only worry about what is the output on third clock now whenever we give the third clock this one will be present here okay for third clock final output that is desired is one okay this is one means this and this both have to be one this must be one as well as this must be one for this output q to be one it means that before giving the third clock we must have a one here okay similarly we must have a one here before giving the third clock to have a one here it means the third input must be zero one one zero or one one okay means at least one of them must be high only in that case this output will be one let us see what is the condition for c for third input this one is one and the output required is also one output of this and gate that means c has to be one so we can see c will surely be one and any two or any one of a and b will be high okay let us say it is don't care and one okay this could be zero or one we don't care but one of them must be high okay you can also write one don't care one third input can be a is equal to one b is equal to don't care c is equal to one okay you can just see the circuit it will work for this input let me just substitute some values for don't care 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 maybe okay you can see at the end of this input the output will be one none of these is correct this one will work at end of this the output is going to be one okay